Let's say you had generated some really amazing illustrations and vectors but after downloading when you zoom it. And it really doesn't look like a vector because you have lost so much details. Now you want to convert this image into a real vector image with your own choice but you don't want to pay and spend your time on Adobe Illustrator. So you can actually convert your images into vectors in just one click. So let's see how to do that so first of all we have to create some good vectors for that. I'm using my favorite tool Leonardo AI. You can use any of your favorite tool. Now let's get some inspiration from other people's generations in this gallery section you will find some really good artworks and designs. You can generate your own design and graphic. So let's pick one of them so this one is a really good graphic design of a duck for the print on Mr. T-shirt. So you can see the prompt and model that he used. Now you have to click the remix button to use the same settings and the same prompt so it will copy all the settings that he used. Now we are on the same model with same settings and same prompt so let's generate. So it came out with really good images. Simply download it and move to the main topic. Now it's time to convert it into a vector for that we will be using. A free tool called Vectorizer AI. Now upload image that you want to vectorize. After some kind of processing. Here is the result of before and after so if we zoom it. Now you can see it's not pixel cutting because it is converted into a real vector. And you can see the before and after how crisp and sharp the edges are so here is. Another example where you can see the sharpness and details and doesn't matter. How much you zoom in each and everything. Is looking perfect and it's not pixelating so this was the, the easiest way to convert this into a vector. Now you can click this blue button to download it. Here you have some different options to download you can download this into SVG EPS PDF or NMPNG file and you can also play around with some settings if you want. But I would prefer to keep it as a default and download it. Thanks for watching if you find this video helpful give it a like and subscribe to my channel I'll see you in the next one.